turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. Found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you want it to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47.
Ready, Pam? Three, two, one, and... For more than two decades, New York-based law firm Morgan, Yates & Cohn has been among the most successful and the most controversial companies in the United States. Founded in the greed is good downtown era of the mid-1980s by Kenneth Morgan, Don Yates, and Theodore Cohn, the firm quickly amassed an impressive client roster, counting such corporate behemoths as top investment bank Milton Fitzpatrick and Van Orton's Martin back. Tina must be over the moon about okay. John stepping down. She's been living alone here for, what, six years? Ever since the scandal that ruined her career. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. I'm here for the tour. First ah, yes, Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Luther, Burnwood's flying solo. I want all eyes on. Let's see what she does. And Luther, looking good today, the sir. Birds and key in on the party area. We're spread too thin. Too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Vargas, the state's chief winemaker. Well, this is a real privilege. You and Don Yates must be very close. Yes, about 400 meters, I should say. Pardon me? Never mind. I'll just wait here for my companion. Carry on. How is it going? Is Corvo black? Don't stare. He's busted heads for this. That means a beast. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Do he calls? Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. He wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates' own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal away from the crowd. Miss Yates. Yeah. You are telling me what? Yeah. I mean, you do realize risk. Hey, good to see you. Listen on your parade. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. So, who's this fool guy? Thank you. I'm more of a beer man myself, but <laughs> nah. if Yates wants to bring the heralds no closer together and play the... I just never framed an urban legend an before. Mind. Very post-truth. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Plus, he has good reason to be confident. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb has a direct line of contact. I say Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about her? How do you think? She and her friends killed Donald Duck.
Welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I help? Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate from Kent. Ran one of our interrogation black sites for more than I tell you. Hey, bud. The Constance must have lost his mind. Burnwood was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of our people? How could she be a herald? Maybe Vidal will trip her down the stairs. Those wheels are an Vidal is a true believer. Over here! You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That's a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. Johannesburg called, and from that murk of yours, Ether, Concert, Hampton, Milton, What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to oh, give them the grand tour, remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste from them. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me over a bridge. How's that? <laughs> three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. about your boy Leandro throwing his knee out yesterday. You say the poor guy might be off for the whole season. I think I need your 
shot in my wound, fellow duo. Sorry, man, but you are just making me feel uncomfortable. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring them here. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. It's brown. Excellent. Hola. Taste. ¿Qué tal? Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why? I say these grapes are right for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I... I have a third to contact. Will do. Fellow wine lover. Hello! Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. Hey. Malbec grape? It's a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I. Uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So, how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Como estas? Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on the steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. And luckily, we have plenty of storage space. 
Our equipment is state of the art, including an industrial sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crushing. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this grape crusher? Well, as the name implies, it crushes the steamed grapes into a thick pulp or mass by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipeline. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Well, fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. A waste of space, Leslie. Nice yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that. So if there's no further questions... Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. I just love to clean up all the things. Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh, well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Mente. Let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? It's all very inspiring. I could see you retired to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates's fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious Good bottles, evening. including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah! Here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. 
Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Harold get together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Harold once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Flowers, Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? Let the Davidians land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. You have to look it up. Shame on you. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence, a calculated risk. These fermentation tanks are accident prone. If the pump malfunctions, the tanks overflow. This has happened before, provoking an appearance from Don Yates. It's likely to happen again. I would have flagged it if anything was wrong. 
It's a seal. It's doing what it does best. Silly. Ray Jesus mio, what do you want from me? You know, I'm gonna cut you some slack because of the baby. But you might want to work on that attitude. I'm sorry. It's just... Yeah, yeah. We've all been there. Temperature and humidity in the barrel room is all controlled by the ventilation system. Steady, yes. Highly sensitive. Sweet. How do you operate it? I'm a bit of a grease monkey in my spare time. Not my area, friend. The control terminal is up in the security room if you want to take a look. Just don't touch anything. One of the guards placed a smoke BLT sandwich near the ventilation filter. The whole facility smelled of bacon for a week, and Mrs. Yates is a vegan. He does not work here anymore. Thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it really freaks me out when people stand too close to me. You mind taking a couple of steps back, okay? Eh?
Command, thought I heard something. Checking it out, over. Interesting. Someone's keeping an eye on him. Check that one out, man. He's drinking like a fish. Better divers than your stupid ass have died horribly in caves like that. I don't think it's worth the risk. What if it was not? Grand Paladin? It is perfection. Irreplaceable. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Ugh, men like Don Yates know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. I am sorry, Padron. Say, what if we exchanged the labels? Served him a different wine? Ah. Uh, you are devious, Santino, but no. If Mr. Yates wishes to destroy something beautiful, I will not stand in his way. That is between him and his creator. How did he even get his hands on a bottle? I hear the last of the 45s were sold to Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali for $600,000. Most expensive bottle ever sold. Ah, uh, yes, uh, a curious story. See, that bottle you refer to came from a case of 12, which were recovered from a sunken Carlisle shipping container that went down in the South China Sea during the final days of World War II. Oh, you know, wow. See what the hell that was. All right. Hey.
Hey, Flowers! Over here. Come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed. I need to search you if you want to pass. Hey, yo, there's no need to flex. You ain't got to impress me. Okay, everything seems to be in order here. Hey, yo, get to stepping, Holmes. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool-gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system. Effectively and reliably tra- Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Absolutely, Absolutely. right. Yes. Perhaps Absolutely. Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What? what the hell? You're what lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I 
have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. I, I mean, agree. Yes. 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 Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all attest to. I mean, yes. Yeah, I agree. Yes. I mean. A toast in her honor. Savor the taste. Man, I just heard something. I don't know. I'm gonna go check it out. Ah. It took you long enough. Quick, clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. Messing with me, man. I'm a bad mama jamma. That's what I said to the guy. No, no, no. Yeah. <coughs> Damn it. You know what, boss? Maybe you shouldn't be talking to me like that. Yeah, that's what I should have said. I should have just told him right in his face. I should have just, I should have spat in his face. That's what I should have Well, probably have to spit.
Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. No, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Holy shit! Turns out this woman will turn to If it's any consolation, yeah. Dawn, what are you doing, you asshole? Do I stand there! Constant. Shoot her! And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick by brick. Finish it. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
Nothing public. She just laughed. Must have gotten better off.
It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether Brand's neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs>